I give you the surface of the moon. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. That's your reaction to setting foot on your moon's surface. Sorry. I am impressed, really. Oh, that would have sounded good from Neil Armstrong when he stepped down from the Apollo 11 lunar module, wouldn't it? One small step for man. And I must say, this place is very nice. Oh, Doctor, every time I step out of the TARDIS is a wow moment. Even if I don't go wow every time, I really do appreciate... Oh, wow! Yeah, thought you'd like it. <sighs> That's the Earth! Just hanging there. Mm. Armstrong described it as a tiny pea, pretty and blue. <laughs> hey, I can see the states. And my my house would be just about... Not yet, it won't. Huh? We've landed in the late 19th century. It'll be some decades before your home is even built. 19th century? Mm -hmm. I'm stood on the moon in a spacesuit. In the 19th century, looking up at the Earth. <laughs> How weird has my life become? Weird? Oh, wonderful. <sighs> hey, are we near any of the Apollo landing sites? Uh, this is Mari Nectaris, the Sea of Nectar. The Sea of Tranquility, where Apollo 11 will land about a century from now, is several miles in that direction. But I deliberately avoided putting us down close to any of the Apollo sites. Why? Well, have you seen the photograph of Neil Armstrong's boot print on the moon's surface? Yeah. Huh? Well, how do you think he'd react if he stepped down and found our footprints there already? <laughs> oh, that would be cool. <laughs> he'd free. No, Perry, no, not cool. Although I dare say he might, as you put it, freak. <laughs> oh. You almost tempt me, but definitely no. However, we can explore. Let's push on. Glad to. <laughs> <laughs>